Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. First of all I'd like to say I hope you're all well in the current environment with the old uh, human malware going around. I hope you're all staying in your homes following the social distancing rules and all that kind of good stuff. Personally I've been at home for around five weeks now. It's been fun city. Um, but I thought I'd bring some content to you um, to try and at least keep you occupied during these trying times. So today I am going to do another cooler compare video. In two previous videos I compared a Noctua cooler and a Cooler Master cooler to the AMD stock cooler that comes with the Ryzen 2600. I'll leave links in the video description box below for both of those videos. So before the whole human malware hit, I took a trip to a Micro Center to see if I could pick up some more coolers. So as part of that trip, I picked up this. The Thermaltake Contact Silent 12. It's a relatively cheap cooler, where Micro Center was selling for $25. So I'm going to put this into my test bed behind me and I'm going to see how that compares to the AMD stock cooler as well. At this kind of price you've got to wonder if it's you know going to perform that well, if it's going to perform any differently or any better than the AMD stock cooler. But we'll find out. Also as part of the same trip I picked up an Enemax cooler which is the Enemax ETS T40 Fit CPU cooler. <laughs> Another product from Alphal. Yeah, dear me, don't like those mouthfuls. Anyway, I'm going to do a future video on this, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon, and then you will find out when I release that video. So without further ado, let's get the thermal tape cooler onto the test bed and see how it performs. So I've completed the test on the Thermaltake cooler. Let's have a look at the stats and how it compares to the AMD cooler. The Thermaltake idled at 34 degrees Celsius, which is 2 degrees higher than the AMD stock cooler. However, the max temperature it managed to get to was 52 degrees. This is similar to the results that we got from the Noctua cooler and the Cooler Master cooler. It's much lower than the AMD stock cooler, which peaked at 94 Celsius, which is obviously very high. So the Cinebench score that we got was 2704, which is slightly lower than what we got from Cooler Master and Noctua. It is, however, considerably higher than what we got from the AMD stock cooler, which was only 2600. Okay, so now we've had seen the results what do they tell us? Well the slightly lower score than Noctua and Cooler Master um, even though it was hitting the same peak temperature it tends to tell us and from the results that I saw when I was watching the test it hit that peak temperature earlier than both the Noctua and the Cooler Master did so it did not reach a similar type score. So while it's a decent cooler and it managed to get a decent score and better than the AMD cooler so if you wanted to look from a value proposition, 
you know, at $25, it's a pretty decent cooler that, you know, will do very, very well on a basic chip like the 2600 that I'm testing on. For a more advanced chip, like I say, a 3700X or a more hotter um, Intel CPU, it may struggle, so I wouldn't use it for that. I would revert back to, say, the Cooler Master or the Noctua. Installation-wise, it was pretty simple to install. Um, the only complication I had was you have to have um, the stack a certain way because trying to clip it in didn't quite work with the motherboard that I had um, because the uh, VRM cooler's got in the way. Also, to actually get it installed, I had to take my GPU out, which isn't ideal, but it wasn't too much of a big problem. Um, all right, so I hope you found this useful. Oh! One other thing, I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but it's actually pretty damn loud as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you're looking for silent operation, this ain't the cooler for you. Anyway, where was I going? Yes, please subscribe. Don't forget I've got the NMX video coming for the cooler um, there as well. So do subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you will receive notification of the content. As I said at the start of the video, stay safe in the current environment. And as, as always, Take care. Oh, and don't forget to toss on a like.